Hi guys, this is uh, lesson number five from our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to type text on the path. How to type text on the curved path uh, that is open, having starting point and end point, and how to type text like this in the closed path, in the circle around or any shape that we have and we want to type text around. So let's get started. Let's move uh, this thing to the side. In our coming lesson, we will be learning more in depth about the pen tool, but uh, for now, we will create a simple path for text. So click on pen tool, you can see that here, freehand tool. In your computer, maybe uh, you will see this way, freehand tool. You need to click it and uh, you need to click and hold and then click on pen tool. So you can see that uh, pen tool is here. Uh, let's create a path, how to create uh, this curved path like this. Click. Then again, click and drag to draw a curve like this. Then again, somewhere here, cl double click. Double click to close the path. So this is how simple it is. I will do it again. Pen tool, click, click and drag. And then again, go somewhere here like this and then double click. Okay, so this way we can create a simple path with the pen tool. Click on pick tool. Let's select this path and delete and we can use this path. So it is very simple if you want to type text on the path, you need to click on the text tool and bring the mouse uh, over this path. Once you see this edge, you know, you can see that with the cursor we have small curve line. You will see this one, you need to click. Now our path is active and we need to type text. So I can type here text, learn to improve your career. Okay, so here we have text. In uh, Coral Draw, it is very easy to adjust the text on the path. All what you have to do, you need to click on pick tool and select the text and hover your mouse over the text and wherever you want, you can bring it. You can bring it far, close, and you can move left, right, wherever you want, you can just place the text. So you can see that the text is there. If I want to increase the font size, still it is possible. I can go to here and let's say 30. Okay, that is fine. And we need to bring it back. So just hold the text and simply move it back this way. So you can see that this is how we have text on the path. Another thing if you want you can use this uh, shape tool. Uh, here we cannot use vertically but this way we can use to you know add some space among individual letter. So you can see that this is how we have. We can go back to the pick tool and if I want I can click outside and once again select. So you will see this uh, text control is active. Okay. If you cannot see here, click outside and click again, you will see the text control. Click on bold. So here we have a bold text. We can To fill color inside, once it is selected in a, with the shape tool, you cannot do this. We can go back to the pick tool and now you can fill color. So we have a blue text, but the problem is the path it shows under the text. So what we can do for that, we can right click here. Okay. So click on the path and right click here. So this is how we can. Uh, move the path but if you want to move this text you need to be careful if you will click and you can see that it will displace so to avoid this thing you can select it right click right click on the black so you can see the path so you can select the path and bring the mouse hover the hover your mouse over the path okay and then move once you will move this way it will not affect the text anymore. Don't bring your cursor, your mouse or the text and move. The text will be displaced. So from the path here, wherever you want, you can keep it. And then you can right click here on this X to invisible, you know, your path. So this is how we created this text on the path. Now we are going to type text with a circle. You can see that here we have a circle and inside we have a text. Simply draw. Uh, circle by using lip tool press control key and here we have click on text tool 
and bring the mouse over this path once you see this curve small curve with the mouse cursor click it and now we can type text here learn to improve your career okay so same way you can click on the pick tool and now bring the mouse over the text and if you want to bring inside this way uh, wherever you want to you know set uh, it's very easy and you can move left right wherever uh, suitable so this is how uh, we have now we can change the font all right and we can make it bold even so this is how it's there same thing if you want to move this uh, all you can click on the path and bring the mouse to this path okay bring the mouse to this path and then move wherever you want to move all right so this is how we have here now if i want i can create another circle two circle i can create to give this shape it is very simple okay and we can fill it with the yellow and uh, outline we have red so we can make red outline and then increase the hairline size to maybe four okay now you can see that uh, you observe here that the text is uh, under the shape because we created this shape after the text so in that case we can change the stacking order you can just click on the text and this uh, circle this way and uh, go to the object order to front of the page okay you have a shortcut here also control home you can press now the circular shape is on the top select the text also object order bring to front of the page so this is how we have here now if i want i can adjust this bring it here and now you can see that the, our text is inside so select this and press plus key and uh, remove outline and we can fill color inside this way now one problem we have here we have uh, this line here so we can select this uh, carefully this circle and right click here so you can see that we don't have any more line so now here i have text if you want you can type to save just time i will just copy this text and keep it here and uh, since it is under we can bring it in the front order to front of the page we can select both click on this text and path press plus and uh, we have a copy you can see that the text it is on our path if you want to separate this text from this path we can do that we can go to the object and click here break part it is not active because the shape is selected so i can select the text and click on object break text apart okay so now if i will click outside and click on the circle it is not connected anymore with the uh, our text you can delete the circle but this text now this time you cannot add or you cannot delete any letter from this it will not remain uh, same curve if i will try let's add some letter let's say a okay and i'll click on pick tool and you will see that now the text it's displaced and it doesn't maintain anymore the curve the way we have okay so control z to go back if you want to separate the path from the text you need to make it sure that you are not going to uh, edit anymore your text but if in future you want to edit that text you don't need to delete the path keep it and you can right click okay and right click on this x here like this here we have now path i will right click on this x and i can hide it so this text now if anytime i want i can modify with the text tool because the path is still there and if i will add some letter here you can see that it is maintaining the same alignment so this is one thing that you need to keep it in your mind that don't delete the path if in future you want to edit text so that's all guys open corel draw in your computer and try to practice this lesson guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you